Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is uh, Christoph and uh, this quick video I'm going to show you how to get a quick Python Flask app running on Docker on a Linux computer. Over here you can see uh, RPI. This is an RPI uh, 0W, the first version. And um, I'm going to be doing an I IoT project on it so I want to install Docker. So uh, I have some steps here to follow. These are for Ubuntu but any Debian distro of uh, Linux is going to work just fine. So first we want to do a sudo apt update. I'm gonna run that. So this is running on the Pi Zero, so it's kind of slow, but uh, I'll cut this so it's a little bit faster. If you're running this on a computer, it's gonna be much faster than this. So next, uh, it's just we just gotta run our uh, install for the Docker IO. Okay, I just installed. Um, I'm just gonna clear the screen here. So we. Uh, a little more a little bit more room to work here so now we just got to do the system control uh, start docker and system control enable docker system control start docker and enable docker okay that's done let's do our docker dash dash version Sweet. Did Docker Compose come with it? Let's check that real quick too. No, that was that's a separate part or a separate install. Okay, so this next line here, if you don't do this, uh, when you go to build, you're not gonna be able to build your containers without doing this line here. So what you need to do is uh, substitute where it says your user for your user. In my case, this is gonna be Pi Zero. For you, it's gonna be whatever, whatever is right here. All right, so actually now you need to uh, exit the shell and restart the session. So let me do that and reconnect. All right, let's just clear this. So what I'm going to do now is just set up this quick application for Flask. As you can see, this is just going to return a uh, web page that says hello world. Very simple, just to make sure this all works. Okay, so I'm just going to do a vim app.py. Just kidding, don't have him. Let me install that real quick. Okay, Vim is installed, so I'm just gonna do a quick Vim app.py. And I am just gonna copy and paste this because I don't feel like typing this. So let's save that. And we're gonna echo flask. Requirements.tx. Oops. Txt. Spelled all that correctly. Yep. So let's just check that. Okay. Looks good. And so now we're gonna just do a vim and uh, create this Docker file. So vim Docker. Oops. <laughs> Docker file. So Docker file does not have an extension if you've never used Docker before. Um, Docker is going to use this file to build the container. I'm just going to paste that in. I'm just going to save that really quick. So now if we do an ls-la, we should have three files in here. And so if we do a docker build-t, I'm just going to call it flask app and dot so that's telling it to use this directory. That's where the Docker file is located. All right, Docker now does its magic. It's gonna go out and download uh, Python 3.8. So I'll come back when uh, this is all done. This is gonna take a little while. Build is now complete. So I'm just gonna clear the screen here, get some room. So if we do a docker ps-a, oh wait, actually that, if we do docker images, sorry, you'll see that our flask app is, uh, is built right here. Nothing's showing up here yet because we haven't run it. So what we're gonna do is just do run. And I'm actually, I'm just gonna do flask app. I'm not going to do restart always because uh, 
Obviously, I don't want this to con just continuously run. So let's send that. So let's run a Docker PS and make sure that's running. Shouldn't need the dash A if it's running. There it goes. Cool. It's running. All right. Let's verify that that's running. What is our IP address? I think it's 19. Let's see. It is 19. Right, let me grab a, a tab here. So remember, it should say hello world. All right, cool. So Docker is running on my Raspberry Pi. Just a quick one here on how to uh, set up Docker, Python and Flask in a, uh, in a Linux uh, environment. And here I have it on my Raspberry Pi. And uh, as you can see, we loaded the page just fine. So in a future video, I'm going to be building a little, some IoT apps that are going to be running on this Raspberry Pi just to do stuff around my house. So, so make sure you subscribe to uh, see that when I get that uploaded. And if you were wondering what I was going to be using that Pi Zero for, I wanted to develop a way to turn on my TrueNAS computer remotely. So I'm going to put that on my Tailnet using TailScale. And then I wrote some code using Flask again and a relay. And all the relay does is it shorts the power switch wiring. And I have two wires probing the three volts on, AT on the ATX cables. And that's how I get the status. So, computer is not running. I'm gonna push the button and l pay attention to the relay. Here we go. Ah, there you go. Same way that a moment to momentary switch works on top of the PC. That's just one of the things I'm gonna use that Pi Zero for. I'm also gonna do some home automation stuff with it as well since it's gonna be on all the time. On the TrueNAS computer, obviously you have it, if you have it on your tail net, you can turn it off wherever you are, but if it's off, you can't turn it on. And that's why I made that, because I don't keep it on all the time. So for the curious ones, that was the project. Now I have to make it look pretty, because this looks crazy. Thanks for watching.